taken a while, but sold quite a few bales just to make up a bit of money. Okay, so I want to get on with that grass field today. And I'm thinking I'm going to need that rowing thing. A turner thing. So, yeah. Let's get these last ones sold. Right. Let's unstrap all these. Grazie mille. Ah, prego. Ciao. Ciao. Right. Lovely. Should be able to afford those two items now. Hopefully. And they should go in the back of this truck as well. You can actually get on with doing some farming. Um, and I spoke to my granddad's friend Antonio. Um, he's going to find out if any farmers need a bit of... Just a bit of farm work. Nothing too major though, because we've only got our equipment to use. Um, so yeah. Fingers crossed. I mean, it looks like everyone's been harvesting and getting ready for planting, so... I don't know if there might be some planting work or... You know. We'll find out. See what he says. Right. Off to the shop we go. I've noticed as well my indicators don't work on this truck, so I need to have that looked at. But, I mean, aside from not being able to carry heavy things up hills, <laughs> this truck is amazing. that and not being able to see behind me when I'm reversing. In fairness, it is quite dangerous, but, you know, i got to say, I do love this thing. Right, lovely. Now I'm coming. Hopefully, just go straight away. And I shall see you either at the shop or at home with our new bits. Oh, maybe this needs harvesting. Oh, they got some new bits in already. Oh, good, they've still got them. Right, let's go see what they want from. Buongiorno. Grazie, grazie. Prego. Ciao. Prego. That rings a bell. I need to figure out me. I really need to brush up on me Italian. <laughs> I know these guys do speak English, but I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn. The thing is, I might get things wrong, but it's the effort that counts. At least I'm trying. And I think they appreciate that, judging by the smiles on their faces whenever I say something wrong. <laughs> right. Oh, new bailer. That's way out of my price range at the minute. Ooh. As is that. But, who knows, once we've done some work... Maybe. Right. Let's get on with it. Get this back home. And until we hear from Antonio, at least now we can crack on with some grass work. We've only got the small baler, but at least I'll be able to lift the bales by hand, hopefully. Still going to be heavy and a lot of work. Because obviously the smaller the bale, the more bales. 
does look like there might still be some harvesting work. That is a hell of a field, though, with my granddad's old harvester. I do not really fancy that. <laughs> so, yeah. Right. Let's get home. Right, let's get these washed off. Cleaned up. And ready to use. Now, the people at the animal dealership who buy my bales off me, they did say that they'd be more than willing to buy, like, smaller bales as well. Um, preferably hay. Just for some of the younger animals. So, yeah. Looks like, if I do do the field, just some small hay and grass bales would be beneficial. Naturally, won't get as much money, but it's better than nothing to start us with. Right, let's go get a coffee. Right, lovely. It seems that we're going to have to put the grass on hold for a bit. Because Antonio's friend needs his field sowing, which we can do. Now. Okay, yeah. We already have the cedar full. However, I'm wondering whether I'm going to need to take more. But yes. So, this should be a little bit of an earner. Not much. Uh, this field is quite big, though. So. Luckily, it is wheat seed. So. Let's take a mosey on down and have a look at the field. Told him I'd make my way straight there, so. That is exactly what I'm going to do. See how this trusty old farm all manages to cope with this. And if I do need to come back for some seed, I can always do that. Oh. That was a bit close. I'll stick to the edge of the road. Yeah, and I shall see you down there. Right, here we are. So, let's go up to the top. And we'll sow downwards, I believe. Because I'm not sure if this tractor can cope with doing things uphill. <laughs> I mean, we'll see. It shouldn't be too bad. I mean, it is quite an old cedar, so... But then again, even without sowing, I'm struggling on the up. So, yeah, I reckon it's going to be easier to do probably a headland last maybe oh we're right by the animal dealership right let's get ready yeah we'll start here with the headland sod it Oh, that was a bit creaky. Right. Actually, I'll just check I've got the right seed. I should have done this first, but I don't know why. I've just got a sneaky suspicion, so I'm just going to check. Right, here we go.
lovely. So yeah, Antonio's friend Diego owns this field. Um, apparently he's a really nice bloke, so yeah. To be fair, everyone I've met seems to be bloody lovely. I don't know if that's because they knew my granddad, or, you know. Then again, Nona was always very sociable, so she... Oh, hey up. Bit of an unlevel land there. Come on. We're not going to be able to do that, so I'll come down on a different angle in a bit. Uh, but yeah, Nona was very sociable, so she probably knew everyone's wives, to be honest. <laughs> Very un unlevel ground. But it does seem to be doing the uphill pretty well, actually, so hopefully it won't cause too many issues. There we go. Lovely. Right, here we go. Just this last little bit. Not gonna lie, it's taken quite a while, but yeah, we got it done. That should hopefully give us a nice bit of money just to tide us over. Right, oh, I'll lift that up. And like I thought, I did have to go get some seed. Got through a whole what I had. Plus another big pallet. So yeah, it's quite a hell of a field. But yeah, right. Just gonna pop home now. And yeah, apparently Johnny's gonna pop by later. Once he's done what he's doing with his animals, he's gonna check the field and pop over and pay us. So yeah, lovely. Definitely time for a brew though, I think I've earned it. And maybe a sarni. Right. Just thinking, might as well 
while I've got seeds see if I can plant this field as well right, let's lower it down and let's get planting Lovely. Right. That's our field planted as well. And just to get some fertiliser on there. Definitely need to clean up this cedar though now. It's done a fair bit of work today, so... Oh yeah, I've still left those out. Right, let's pump this over here for a sec. Lovely. I don't quite remember how far this spread is, so let's see.
let's stick this in a shed. We will put it in this one. Definitely coffee time. Oh, lovely. Right. It's getting late in the day. It's about half three now in the afternoon. So, let's go check on this grass. It should be good to go. But I wouldn't mind actually just getting it cut. And possibly leave it overnight to dry it first thing in the morning so then we can bail it up late afternoon early evening tomorrow that should give us some lovely hay go test this one out Antonio did ring me and asked me if I fancied doing some cultivating today but yeah after how long it took me to do that field and considering it's field belonging to one of his friends that's quite big again Maybe not today. But yes. Now our other field, we have to access via the main road. So. Oh, I shut the gate. Hold on. There we go. Right. Let's get this grass sorted. But at least we've got our wheat in, so once that's almost grown, I can look into getting some chickens. And then we can start having some nice fresh eggs. And I do need to pop to the shop and get some more shopping, because, yeah, I noticed when I was making my sandwich earlier that I'm running rather low. Lovely. So, if I'm not mistaken, it should be just at the end of this road, the entrance to our field. I always seem to forget. I wouldn't mind, actually, uh, pulling the fence down by the cow shed and making a little gate there. The only problem with that is, A, getting planning permission, and B, because I'd have to put a little dirt road in there, and B, it's quite steep, the embankment. Let's just go straight over. And there it is, our lovely field. I'll show you what I mean in a sec. Right, so let's go up here. Yeah, just over here, you can see the cow sheds just there. But it is rather steep, so I'm not sure it would be a good idea anyway. Yeah, probably not. Right. Let's just turn this around a bit, because I'll be going in this direction, I think. No, I would be going in the other direction. Damn it. Just to get the headland done. Right, so we'll park it up here, and I'll just check the grass. I'm pretty sure it's ready, but... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks lovely. Right, so let's get that lowered down. Right, and can I switch it on from here? Yes, I can. Oh, it's whirring, it's whirring. Right, let's give this a go. Oh, lovely. I did just as a oh, way up. This is gonna be a bit dodgy. Oh, bloody hell. Ow. Right. Oh, Jesus. 
keep clipping my head. But that's the edge done, at least, so I shouldn't be going into the trees now. Although I'll probably miss some bits, but not a major issue. Right. Let's get cracking. Right, last little bit, lovely. It's getting dark now, so let's turn that off. Lovely, raise it up. Right, get this back and washed off, and I think that is us definitely done for the day. 
I am absolutely knackered. Oh, hello dear. Right. Okay. I must admit, it does look beautiful around here in the evenings. Especially this time of year as well, with the trees. But yes, we've got our grass cut. Leave it out to dry a bit. We got our field sown with wheat. And we helped out one of the locals. Damn it. Yes, I know, I'm sorry I took the turn too late. There we go. I do not want to be driving on the field. Right. Ah, too busy talking. <laughs> but yeah, I think that'll do us for today. Get up fresh and early in the morning. And ted that grass out. should be ready to bail up by the evening hopefully right let's get this washed off